Good morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of Z Tano with Monte YouTube channel. And look, I've got a hoodie on. Broke out the O Virtus Jewel hoodie because it's 55 degrees. It's going to come off soon, though, because the sun is intense. It's supposed to get up to 70 today. And look who I got out here. What's up, Finn? Finn, what's up? What up? Got the old fishing dog back out. One of my favorite things about fall is the dog gets to come in the boat with me and I get to have somebody to hang out with all day that doesn't talk back. Is very happy to be here loves to see me no matter if i walk outside for 30 seconds i come back it's like hey where you been it's been so long blah 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 she's a great fishing partner um lake conditions a little bit of breeze out here water is very very clear and it is 74 degrees it might be a little bit cooler just drop the boat in so it takes a little while for that transducer to adapt but uh we're not working today so life is good Give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content that I've been putting out for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe, please. It's a way to get back to the content creators like Mua. Um, also, Baitworks. Got the hat on. If you go to Baitworks, use the code THM10 and you will get 10% off your first order. Let's try to catch some fish. There he is. There he is. It's a good fish, guys. A hybrid hunter. That's a good sawfish. Oh, it almost got me. Okay, got him. Ah. Look at that, folks. <laughs> THM cranking. You don't see that very much. Still on this little Strike King Hybrid Hunter, and it's amazing how good it comes to the grass. I've thrown it a little bit in the past, but not really kept it in my hand very long. And it's a it's a little four by four crankbait. It's very impressive. So ain't nothing wrong with that fish. That's a beauty, Clark. Mm. Yeah, what do you think about that, huh? Mm, what do you think about that? A four yonder, or better. That's a nice solid fish. Let's let her go. Man, that was fun, man. We're just popping that crankbait out of the grass, and I kind of saw her come up and swipe on it. It's good stuff. Good fish, too. Get on out of here, buddy. Nice. Ah, I'm awake now. There he is. Got off this grass point. Another one on the old spank bait. All right. Hybrid hunter, man. What's up with that? It's amazing how well it comes to the grass. All right. It's fun. Covering water, folks, is fall, man. You gotta cover a lot of water. Ah, oh. got me one. I knew 
Don't be crawl. Got my drag set too loose. Jesus. Go. Speed crawl. When it's tough. Speed crawl excels. Got a north wind, a little cold front pushing through. It's been a little bit challenging. Oh, I thought that was blue, y'all. That fish was up in nothing. There you go. We got him now. Dang it. Jake fish. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, pee wee. spot on that point. I mean that fish absolutely crushed it. It was a thunk. Come here Buster. That's a good fish. Alright, here we go. Alright, mixing it up man. Just that little runt finesse jig. It's a little speed crawl in there and there's a little hard spot on that point. I marked it earlier when I was idling and I kept on fishing and I came back. I am decided just to hit a couple of these little points. There's a few little stumps and hard spots on them. And first cast is dragging across there and that sucker just, I mean, that was a good bite. Classic jig bite, just a boom. And uh, took off with it. Well, it's not coming off either. There we go. Good fish. It's a good little jig, man. I mean, when it's tough, throwing a little finesse jig of some sort and a little speed crawl, just some sort of small trailer. And on the fall, a lot of times the fish like small stuff. Definitely a lot of small shad swimming around. It's like downside your spinner baits, you know, downside your jig. Sometimes you can put a, um, just a traditional flipping chunk, you know, like a zoom chunk doesn't even have any flippers on there. I think Finley is bored because the fishing got tough. What do you think? Finley, are you bored? <laughs> oh man, um, that little crankbait bite went away when we kept trying it and trying it, but it just dissipated. The winds picked up a little bit out of the north and I've kind of switched it up. So I'm covering water halfway shallow, like zero to 15 feet, and I'm throwing two baits at them. One is my favorite soft plastic of all time, the Junebug Speed Crawl. Just got it rigged up on a 3 8 ounce uh, tungsten weight with a 3 out hook, 15 pound test, and I'm throwing it on this Virtus Jewel Ranger. Uh, this is 7 foot 3 heavy. This is a sweet rod. I'm really, really digging this rod. And the other bait I'm throwing is the Cumberland Pro Lures. This is the little runt finesse jig. Let's see if I can get it up here. And this is the, I think it's called Candy Crawl, Magic Candy Crawl. Got a little green pumpkin speed crawl on there. This 
is a 3 8 ounce bait and I really trimmed it up really trimmed that skirt up so I'm making it really really finessey I've seen a lot of small bluegill on the grass throwing it on 15 pound test and I'm throwing it on this little um this is the Virtus Jewel Acura uh this is their spinnerbait finesse jig rod six foot ten medium heavy and um it's another sweet little rod it's it's cool I've been playing around with these little finesse jig rods uh, normally I've throwing like a seven to seven foot three but that little six foot ten is it's pretty nice it's easy to handle it skips really good and um it's got the right amount of tip for when you do hook a good fish so we're gonna cover a little bit of water and hopefully we can snatch up a couple fish Bites now. Get some bites and fish with shallow. All right. Pile. He ate it too. All right, another one on a jig. Look at that. I mean, that fish crushed it. Just a uh, little brush piles out here, man. I'm just kind of point hopping, running brush, stowing this little little runt finesse jig. And uh, man, that's fun, man. When it's tough out here, you know, you can kind of keep that speed crawl going, whether it's on a jig or just Texas rig. And it just appeals to fish when they're acting funky. That's a healthy fish. Healthy fish. All right, let's see if we can do it again. This is fun getting our lines tight. Getting our lines steady. Jig paying off. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap it up, man. Look how you got that jig, just like you want them. Um, I had a lot of fun today. You know, the bite was kind of tough for me. It's always, eh, not always, but a lot of times it's tough on this lake for me. But I'm still trying to figure it out. But we did catch some fish. Um, this little runt finesse jig and a little speed crawl. The trailer is a speed crawl as well. So um, you know when it's tough downsize a little bit just uh cover high percentage areas most of the bites i got today were um relating to rock or wood several of the fish out on the points were just little bitty pieces of you know wood caught that really good one early on the crankbait and that's a really cool crankbait it's the first time i really had it in my hand and um kept it in my hand for a while just to get a feel of it it literally just it's like a four by four you can throw it up in grass and it comes right through it's pretty impressive but no little jig you can get these on bait works a uh, little run for jig by Cumberland pro lures it's a pretty good one um give me a thumbs up subscribe until next time it's fall y'all it is fall got to keep covering water you show up tomorrow and just crush them you just never know we got a little cold front coming through and uh hey i'm just happy to get my line tight you know i'm hashtag no pro I'm just out here having fun. Till next time.